Hello everyone! If you are the one who is planning for your undergraduate programs in various central universities or in India's topmost institution, of course you are the one who is waiting for the any official notification. So your awaited is over because your application have started. Start applying to get into your desired university. And one additional point for you all guys is DU which is Delhi University are also going to take part this year so there will be a lot of competition for you guys so what you have to do is without any hesitation along with your board exam preparation you are going to start your preparation how it will happen it is in the sense in CUET UG exam it's all about they used to ask everything from your 12th syllabus so not anything extra or you have to prepare any advanced portion for the CUET UG so what you have to do is to clearly know about everything Every topics which comes under your 12th examination syllabus. Of course your board exam happens on March month right. So along with that try to prepare even more better for the CUET UG. So students we can able to see there are about 44 central universities are going to take part in the CUET UG exam. Not only the central universities along with that various state universities and also various private universities deemed universities are going to take place. If you are planning for any university which comes under the central university or even state private for everything else try to check it out in the official website of the CUET UG. So within that we can able to see lots and lots of universities are participating then your desired university or comes under this list then what you have to do is to start apply for the CUET UG. So now we are going to see about important dates for the CUET UG exam. Firstly, when we tend to see online submission of this application form is from 9th February to 12th March and then last date of successful transaction of fees is from 12th March 2023 so up to 11.50 pm and after that correction in any particulars that you have entered. So for that they used to give a date from 15th March to 18th March. After that the announcement of the city of the examination. So for that they used to give the date of 30th April 2023. After that downloading your admit cards for this exam. For that they used to mention in second week of the May. And then when we look at this date of the examination is usually this exam is going to conduct on 21st May 2023 to 31st May 2023. And this is one of the most important thing that the students have to know. And then display of any recorded responses and about the answer keys. So they used to announce later on the website. So that's it about the application or even any important date regarding this CUET UG exam. Nextly, we are going to see about the exam pattern for the CUET UG. When we tend to see into it, it consists of three sections. So within section 1, it consists of section 1A and section 1B. Within that, they used to ask from section 1A, they used to ask 13 different languages in which the candidates can choose it from. And after that, in section 1B, there are about 20 languages. And after that, in section 2, there are about 27 domains specific subjects in which from the candidates according to their stream they can choose from. After that finally it's about general test. So while we look into the general test it usually offered by various universities. So candidates while preparing for your exam there are some students they used to let this general test as their option. So don't do it like that because in some of the universities let us take the CUET UG participating university like Sri Vivekananda global college so for that for their admission procedure alone for any like bsc chemistry like bsc physics like that they used to ask this general test alone for their admission procedure so don't let your general test as a choice try to cover over all the areas in order for a grand success for your exam okay Nextly, we are going to see about the number of questions to be attempted for this exam. Firstly, within section 1, we used to attend 40 questions out of 50. In section 2, we can able to attend 45 questions out of 50. Finally, in general test, we can able to attempt 15 questions out of 60. And then when we look about the allocation of the subjects, like uh, subjects that you have chosen from. So there are about 10 maximum subjects 
you can able to choose from this within this three sections either you can go for one languages or two languages or even four domain subjects from here or a general test so the decision is up to your universities all decisions regarding your domain specific subjects or even if you have to attend your general test so these all the conditions that usually the university offer for you now let us get into this marking scheme of this examination usually they used to give five marks for every correct answer afterwards if you are incorrectly marked any of the options then they used to have this negative marking scheme which is in the sense minus one for your every incorrect options that you have marked apart from that if you have not marked any of the options then they used to not detect any marks from that so that's about the marking scheme when I tend to say there are 13 languages in section 1A, right? So we can able to see the list of languages as I have listed you for all. So one specification about this languages within 1A is it was used to have a bilingual concept. It is in the case if you are taking English, then you have a domain specific subject as a English one okay and then if you tend to choose hindi then you would have your domain specific subject also in hindi so these were the one specification about this language section and in section 1b there are about 20 languages as i have listed here and then there are about 27 domain specific subjects have been listed so for that it is in the sense if you are tend to seeking BSc chemistry in any university. So the university is used to refer you that chemistry as a mandatory one and apart from that you can able to choose max or even chemistry as an optional subject. It totally depends upon your university decision. If you are acquiring for BCom, you will usually come under this accountancy or even in bookkeeping or even business studies. So these were the slots that the university used to prefer for every candidate. According to your streams, usually every subject varies. And then if you have been choosing for this BCA like computer application, so they used to give this domain specific subjects like a computer computer science or even informatics practices. So this is totally depend upon the university's decision in which they go for. And if you are choosing for English like BA English, it is in the sense they used to give English as a mandatory one. So apart from that, they used to have some options that they are seeking for you. And here comes the end of the video students. Of course, we all discuss about some details regarding the CUET UG exams. If you need more information regarding the CUET UG exam, then usually come at us for any enquiries and don't forget to subscribe and like our videos. Thank you.